Hello friends, welcome to Hudson County TV. I'm Fernando Uribe with a special edition of the Uribe Society coming to you from the Stephen Phillip campaign headquarters on the west side of Jersey City. Today Stephen Phillip provided a campaign update and how it's going leading up to election day on May the 14th. fortunate to have a tremendous volunteer base, probably the largest in the state of New Jersey. Uh, so that, that is an asset that we have. Fundraising continues to be a challenging environment. If you look at the mayor's fundraising apparatus, um, you know, the majority of it in the last quarter came from municipal employees. So, you know, that sort of apparatus and that sort of kind of Mayor Haig type of politics is pretty challenging to overcome uh, from a fundraising standpoint. But we're out there, we're, we're working day in, day out, and, uh, you know, while challenging, we're moving forward. In addition, Mr. Phillip discussed the entry of local Jersey City hero Jerry Walker and how he impacts now the election, making this a three way race. For residents that aren't aware, what happens in a three-way three race in Jersey City uh, in terms of the vote totals come May? Look, Jerry and I um, actually have a good relationship. Uh, we have an ongoing dialogue. It is uh, the beauty of this democracy that we have here is that anybody's entitled to run. Uh, Jerry feels that there is an important component of this election that he can speak to, and uh, that's a great situation. From our campaign standpoint, you know, Jerry being in the race, Jerry Walker in the race or out of the race doesn't change one thing from a strategic standpoint for us. It um, certainly makes the math more challenging uh, for a first ballot win. However, uh, I'm pretty comfortable that if we stick to kind of our plan, our outreach model, uh, we'll be okay. Uh, again, in regards to uh, Mr. Walker, some would allege that his entry into the race uh, benefits the mayor because of taking votes away from you. Can you? add any validity to that or is it just speculation at this point? Yeah, from, from my standpoint it's speculation and uh, the history of Jersey City in a lot of these mayoral races indicates that people put other people in in order to siphon votes and uh, unfortunately that's kind of the reality of kind of how this is played here in Hudson County. Our position on it is that again it doesn't change anything and you know we are going to go with the default that uh, Jerry Walker's intentions are good, and uh, for my conversations with him, I think that uh, you know he's just looking to kind of increase the dialogue. A variety of the topics were discussed today, as far as property taxes, rising crime, and the pursuit of accountability at City Hall. Councilman, uh, there's been some video surfacing on the net, uh, specifically uh, alleging any ties you may have to corporate interests. Uh, some residents have voiced a concern here on Hudson County TV. What can you convey to residents today about? Uh, the accuracy of those videos and just all together, you know, what is that effort surrounded by? I mean, there, there is zero accuracy. I think President Obama said it best in 2008 when uh, he said that uh, when you have no record to run on, you paint your opponent as somebody to run from. Uh, if there was any truth to anything that they're putting out there on the front of being a Republican, of corporate interest, I don't think I would have the support and the endorsement of the SEIU 32BJ, which we just got, which is one of the largest unions in, uh, in Jersey City, representing more than 1,300 people. And you're talking about the core backbone of the Democratic Party, the support of Congressman Donald Payne, who represents Jersey City, the support of freeholder Bill O'Day the support of former state senator Bernie Kenny. I mean, the list goes on and on. Unfortunately, it's going to be a negative campaign from their side. Uh, we're just going to kind of stick to messaging and policy ideas and, and hope that the uh, truth comes forward at the end, and I'm pretty sure it will. Overall, it'll be interesting to see how this campaign furthers itself in the weeks and months ahead. With me here on Hudson County TV about your willingness to debate the mayor. Uh, as of right now, uh, Hudson County TV has not received a response yet. Uh, what specifically is, you know, catching your attention right now about um, either a lack of willingness or just uh, a responsiveness to uh, to address a debate forum with you? Look, we, we have asked uh, the administration um, to approve debates. We're ready to do it, uh, you know, weekly, uh, bi-weekly. Uh, from my standpoint, the more the merrier. Um, I think I have a very strong record to run on uh, based on my city council achievements, uh, concrete uh, policy ideas, and I'm looking forward to the dialogue. And I think the mayor has a concrete record as well as it relates to um, higher taxes, uh, increasing crime, um, and just the overall nature of the uh, city. And I think that dialogue back and forth is going to be helpful. So 
we're ready to go. And uh, we've approved any requests from a debate, whether it's from um, Hudson County TV, who was the first to ask, or the reporter, or the Jersey Journal, or community groups. And we're just waiting on the mayor's side to approve. Thank you so much for joining us. For more programming, please go to HudsonCountyTV.com. Thank you for supporting Hudson County TV. And as always, stay classy, everyone.